Uh, let's see. There was a question from coming in on YouTube here. How to update the OS in my sequence so I don't have so I don't need to have to add the October ISO or November ISO into the sequence. Well, in this case, extracting the, the, the WIM file from the ISO. Well, there are a few different options um, of doing so. Um, but in config manager environment, there is a bit of a challenge updating the image. Because if you have a sequence that is used in, say, the September image at the moment, like, like this one here, and you go ahead and update that packet that this sequence is using, either through a PowerShell script or use the built-in schedule task that I kind of don't like because it doesn't update the entire stuff. It updates only the, the update stuff and it's, it doesn't update setups. So if you're using upgrade packets and whatnot, it's not really complete. But it doesn't matter. If you either replace the WIM file or you update the existing WIM file, it's still going to cause a content distribution of that file of that image. And while that is working, you will find that deployments in your environment will be failing. So what I typically recommend doing to prevent that from happening, if you are want to do that kind of upgrade uh, more seamlessly, uh, add in a second image. So keep your whatever, say that this is your uh, September one, just to give an argument. Add in a new one that is the October. And I recommend extracting it from the ISO if you're just using a thin image. Uh, update it with either WinBridge or Rose the Builder if you're using that. But add that as a separate image, distribute it. And once that distribution is done, then you simply go into your sequence. But that was a new version of it, was it not? <laughs> You're way uh, in the future. Yeah, I'm a little bit ahead here. But that, then I will go in and uh, just find the uh, apply OS step. Uh, where are you, my friend? Here. And I will select that one and select it, the, the second image. And hit OK. Because this is just a policy update. That one takes effect pretty much immediately. Mm -hmm and it won't break in existing deployments. Um, I even see some organizations, they have two sequences, they alternate in between, but I, I usually find that it's actually adding the image and updating that one. That's the, that's the time consuming part, because if you have a large environment, you have a lot of distribution points, it, it can take a good while to get that four gig unit out there everywhere. And you don't want to break any existing stuff while you're doing so. So, um, we tend to do something like that with boot images whenever we've got an updated boot image. And then just since we have, you know, dozens of task sequences, uh, take some of the PowerShell command, let's figure out which one's using the old one and then update it with the new one. And I think you could probably do something similar here, right? I mean, uh, uh, Maybe yeah. a little harder. I mean, everything you do in the console can be automated through the, the PowerShell commandlets in, in Config Manager. So you can definitely have a script like this one here. Mm -hmm. There was the builder that will update the WIM file to the latest version or this script here that if you have, a, a, say that this one is actually the October ISO that you downloaded, it will simply extract that WIM file real quick. You can add more steps to this script to also import that in the console and create an image package. You can even update the distribution points and you can wait until they are done. And then through PowerShell, you can modify the apply operating system step in there as well. Um, if you're looking for some inspiration there, I was um, I wrote a blog post on, um, on Dart a while back, a little PowerShell script on how to add that. Uh, the right way. And in that script, I, that was not the script, was it? Here. I added in a little logic uh, in the bottom here, where I was just looping and waiting out in the distribution of that boot image was done before I continued. So you can definitely automate that full end-to-end. -end. 
but since it's only once a month, as long as you update the or automate the update of that image, it's not that much hard to much hard work to just add it in here and change your sequence. So that was the builder, Wimwich, extract from ISO, write your own PowerShell script to do the update. Um, because um, this step here, um, if you do a scheduled update, um, I don't like that. So, yeah. I hope that answered the question somehow. The beautiful thing about the OSTA Builder and Wimwich is that you don't have to download a new ISO. You can just run it against whatever you have. Yeah. You can even have a, like the original media from, you know, like a year ago. It, they will still patch it up to the latest version. Anything like you had there, Andrew? Uh, oh, we pretty much followed the same uh, thought process as you there. Yeah. 